All right, and we are here at Universal Islands of Adventure yes. for their Mardi, Mardi Gras celebration. And we just walked in through the entrance. And I'm going to choose what we eat today. She's going to choose what we eat. She's and the boss. This one is She's going to choose what we eat today. This one's the loser. Yeah, I'm the loser. And this, this one, you say this one's the loser? No, I'm the boss. Is this one the loser? No. Who's the loser? You're the loser. Why am I the loser? You always get trashy food. <laughs> okay. Alright. We're gonna have the best food today. Alright, so let's start this day off by going into the trading company here at Islands of Adventure. And we're gonna begin our journey. These Mardi Gras hats are cool. And here are the, ooh, there's like a little jacket. Nice little shirt here. Some beads. In case you want to bead off today, there's some beads. You know, a lot of people who come here who love beading off. Ooh, I like this hat. This hat's cool, this little bucket hat here. How do you like this, honey? Does that look good on me? No? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's a pimp hat. Oh, this is cool. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. What? I'm getting this hat. I need a hat. All right. So, I ended up getting this hat. This hat's too cool, couldn't pass it up, so, yeah. And now we're going to venture on into the park. Ready to go, honey? Ready, honey. All right, let's do this. And we'll take another look around the store to see if we find anything else interesting in here. And I think it's just pretty much the same old standard merchandise, which is all fun, but I don't think there's anything much else for the Mardi Gras celebration, but I'm pretty happy with this hat that I got. This is pretty cool. Nice little bucket hat. It's always fun to get at least one thing to celebrate the event with, and you feel, uh, you know, like you're just enjoying it and living in the moment. And that's, you know, awesome. But check out how beautiful this part of the park looks. Oh, the port of entry. We could still get Christmas hats. Wow. Mardi Gras socks. A Mardi Gras looks like a. I don't know, is that a necktie? What is this? I don't know what this is, dude. Are these, so yeah, these are socks. Yeah, these are socks. Okay. These, these are cool. What did they say? Alright, let's go this way. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, I think all the good food is going to be over here. And there is definitely a party vibe going on here. Looks like everybody's waiting for the parade, maybe. I think we're, we're over here, honey. All right, and check this out. Looks like Louis Armstrong and uh, this guy. 
Okay, the blackened chicken po'boy, shrimp gumbo with rice. The muffalita. Oh wow, that looks good. I think that's got my name on it. Chicken jambalaya. Oh my god. So this is where the fun happens. Look at this. Ooh, wow. Okay, so this is the cheese arepa. Whoa. Yeah, this is unstable. You can't lean on it. Okay, I did it. I didn't lean on it. Okay. Cheese. Um, I believe this is pork. And this is beef. And then yuca fries with chimichurri. Let me eat. Care careful girls, this is a very shaky table, okay? Well, you don't want your food to fall on the floor. So I guess we all got something different, huh? No, we got the same thing. Me and you did? Yes, yeah, beef. Alright. Let's see you take a bite out of that one. Good? Oh man, it's like spaghetti sauce kind of beef. Um, beef. Alright girls, please don't wobble the table, okay? You can't put any weight on it. Oh man. Am I gonna be able to eat that with one hand? No. No? How do you think what do you think about it? Is it good? Okay. What do you think, Rose? Is it good? All right, I'm gonna go in and, and try this. And then we got the parade coming up right after this. So here we go. It's crumbly. It's almost like a meatball sub, kind of. Like a sloppy joe. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Working on these chimichurri fries now. They're all right. And what was this thing called again? What? God, it's in your hand. It's just a cheese arepa. Cheese arepa. These arepas suck. This, this is just... It's like, imagine taking a piece of cornbread, cutting it in half and stuffing it with taco meat. That's like the beef one. Here's this cheese. It's like cornbread, a little small like cornbread filled with whatever. It's not impressive at all. Uh, thumbs down. Thumbs down, University. You guys suck. This is a bust. I just want cheese. Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Hey, what do you have there, Ginger? 
Uh, the Pinot Verde. The Pinot Verde, and it's a 12 ounce cup filled mostly with ice. <laughs> For how much? What was that, like 13 bucks or something? Something like total? that. Huh? Something like that. Yeah, but you can refill the uh, cup for like eight dollars or something. How was the drink though? Uh, it's a milky. Um, tastes like a melted pina colada, kind of. Like a melted pina colada. So is that a good or a bad thing? It's a little sweet for me, but it's okay. All right, and here is the uh, whatever the fuck the sandwich, the muffalada. Here's the muffalada. They gave me a freaking quarter of a sandwich. A quarter of a sandwich for 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 seven dollars and ninety nine cents with some chips. Isn't that great? A quarter of a sandwich. This is this is one like sesame seed bun. I thought it was gonna be like the whole like a sandwich. They give me a fourth of a sandwich. They Here. cut it in half and then they cut it in half again. And this is what you get. Your seven ninety nine. You get this. You get this one fourth of a sandwich. Um, but anyways, it's got like salami and all kinds of shit on it and. Chips yeah. look good. So we're gonna we're gonna Let's try, try this. Chip. Yeah, the chips look good. This would be fun if the food was actually good. Um, and you didn't feel like you were getting ramrod in the ass uh, when you buy their food here. And even if it does taste somewhat good, you're getting a ramrod right up the ass. Uh, they're they're fucking you on the price. And I'm pretty sure they sat at a board meeting. Hmm. How can we make this Mardi Gras thing more profitable? Well, let's cut the sandwich in fours. Here. And, and you stupid motherfuckers are gonna fucking eat it anyway and like it and lick their assholes because you suck. Fuck you. You guys are pathetic if you think this is good or if you're gonna applaud this bullshit. It's a... Our first gone, refill. Gone Bay Smash. Rum, dark rum, done cute coconut rum. This one maybe tastes a little stronger. It's still very similar to the other one. Mm -hmm. Very creamy, milky, kinda. Okay. But I think it, maybe it feels stronger, but then again, maybe it's because it's my second drink. I don't know. Yeah. Don't record this We talked to the gentleman over here. This guy. Really cool. And he sold me after all my bitching and complaining. He actually talked this up well enough for me to buy a $120 card, which is good for 150 bucks. Here it is again, the uh, Mardi Gras card. I don't know what they're gonna do now, but they're in another line. So, what do we get now? All right. Beignets. So yeah, we're trying the beignets now. Oh, they are so hot and they're like squishy. Pillows, dude. Do you like them, Lola? No. Is it gross? Yeah. Let mommy have half of it then. I like them. Usually, if you say that and she really does like it, she's just put on the shelf, so uh, she can eat your tube really quickly. But how, how are they, honey? Mm. They're like a, a pastry dough with powdered sugar. It's good. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this beignet. This is the beignet. This reminds me of something you get at like Sushi's Pizza <laughs> after they've had like a major budget cut restructure. It's dough and powdered sugar, and that's it. It's the uh, it's the fuck. This is nothing special. It's dough and powdered sugar. Wow. It's over high. Hype. Hype. Yeah, the hype doesn't taste very good. And the somebody hype. just spent $115 at Gideon's just so I could see what the hype's about but not wait in line. I ordered an entire cake because I have to try it and I don't want to wait in line. Yeah. We're getting it at our hotel? Yeah, I, I ordered it for pickup on Friday when we leave. Alright, moving on. Alright, this Friday? Yeah, um, I mean, the beignets were good, but it's just like, I don't know, I mean, it's fried dough and powdered sugar, what do you want me to say? It's just the cheapest fucking thing they could come up with, and, um, 
you know, sell it at this thing. It's like a, like a breadstick at a pizza place without the butter, but instead powdered sugar. Um, you know, it's just it's bread and sugar. The Tribune Store. We're off to the tribute store now. Here, walking into the tribute store. Here's my tribute to Universal. Fuck um, Some cool shirts with crocodiles on them and jeans. Very uh, embarrassingly low quality hip pouch here. Looks like something you win at Chuck E. Cheese with like 20 tickets. What the hell is this? A gator scented candle. Look! I have a mask on and cannot smell it. What is that? Do you like that? Do you want it? I think it Anything will spit on you, so get it if you want it. Get into the Mardi Gras festivities. A jersey shirt. You're on the Mardi Gras team. Cool. Never liked the jersey shirts, but if you like them, great. I've never owned a jersey in my life. Okay. Nice drawing of a, uh, of an alligator. Ducks, three for $15. Regular price six dollars for this little duck. What the hell? This is fucking sad, dude. Fifteen dollars for three of these ducks. What kind of fucking moron would buy that? Christmas ornaments. Hey, honey, th these these dogs are on sale. Nice. Yes, kitty kitty. Maybe you should bring it to the cat show, actually. Yeah. Look at, look, girls, these ducks are on sale. Oh my god, we, we can't miss out on this. Look at this once in a lifetime deal. Oh my freaking god. Three for 15. Oh let's, my god. Let's buy all the whole entire pocket. Look, honey, they're on sale. Mom, look at how yeah. cool they are. We're buying the <laughs> pocket now. This is just. We're buying the whole entire bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice photo op. You could just sit in a chair like to a bear with all of this flair. Oh, how awesome. I mean, just look at this wonderful prop right here. My God, they went all out this year. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> I hope this is a joke. Oh my God. Can we buy this? It's not. It's got a picture. Dad, huh. you're gonna say yes when we and Sarah go find one of these. Cool. You have to wear it. We're gonna keep saying wear it. What does mom get? Uh, she gets nothing. Bullshit. Oh, I want this. Oh, no. Back, back, back. 
Oh my gosh, they're going all out. What? Oh yes. Look at this. The blueprint. That's not even there, it's a blueprint. Wow. Little mermaid. Yeah. Some pretty funky uh, swag here. <laughs> oh wow, this room looks cool. Ooh. Oh man, I think we're in trouble here, honey. Look at that trifle cake. Cookie dough balls. Balls. You want to put these balls in your mouth? Marty got shot dip bacon. Ooh, cupcakes. Oh man. Shaker cake. Wow, this place looks awesome, dude. You know, this is, this is where it's at. This room. Especially for you, if you've come here expecting yeah. good food. Yes. Look at this. How much is this? Five dollars. Oh, wow. They're going all out. They have Mardi Gras packaging on some Dollar Tree candy. Nice. Oh, God. Nice. <laughs> Shrieking turd. What is this? This is coffee. Oh, cool. This sort of coffee. $20 for this coffee. This better be some good fucking coffee. This, this coffee better get me like high and have me seeing trails everywhere. Yes, you can get one. Alright. Feet don't fail me now. Feet don't fail me now. Get your oh, hair no. out of your face. Come on, I don't... Don't get closer to her. Nice. Well, I know. It's hot yellow or something. All right. Now you can see we have performers over here. And over here. And this guy over here. So I just had lots of count of sleep. Big cheer from everyone. One, two, three! Oh. Yay! Woohoo! So good! Hello, oh, ladies! Oh, that's where this nasty fucking sandwich is on. Hello! Love the bucket hat, man! Thank you! Oh, I love this bar. Fun of them. Great place to have a drink. Hang out, grab some food. It's like a real restaurant, bar, tavern, Tokyo, and a theme park. It's really cool. I just wish that these, uh, these festivals gave me more of a reason to show up here. But they don't. Um, in every one of the events that I've been to, I've been to three, I've been just kind of underwhelming. I would say out of the three Halloween Horror Nights, it was probably my favorite. The, you know, the, this one and the Christmas just, you know, aren't really hitting it for me. Bloody Marys. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. All right. Over here in Diagon Alley. Yeah. 
it's getting brutally hot out here. And it's so cold. It's like shoulder to shoulder, man. Look at this. For what? For beignets? These people came here for beignets and get beads for the pelted in the face. Jeez. So we are here, we're going to try out the shrimp and avocado ceviche, ceviche. Um, and we're going to try the sweet corn johnny cake. So this should be very interesting. And Ginger's got the, the cake guayaba. 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 I'm going to grab us a table. Alright. I want that peanut butter pop. Of the, uh, the shrimp and avocado chevetti and the Johnny cake here. So take a good look at this. This looks awesome. Wow. It's got like that raspberry sorbet on it with the shrimp, the avocado. This just looks really, really interesting here. So we're going to try this out. spot here definitely has it going on for the uh, for the uh, festival food. You want a bubble waffle? I have no idea where the bubble waffle is. So this is the lake drain, this little lake thing drain, where they have the light show, the uh, cinematic show. Help! Help! What's happening? I'm being assaulted. Belly! It's her. Look at her. Beignets stuff with like creamy crab, whatever, like cream cheese crab stuff. And um, so I'm, I'm excited to check this out. This is one of our main things that we were really looking forward to here. And so here we go. All 
All right. Crab beignet. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Whoa, man. That's good. I taste um cheese almost like tastes like Parmesan cheese. But it's like all melty and gooey like this. And that crab taste. Wow, just lights this thing up, man. Now this is good. This is really good. Now this is a beignet that you could definitely uh, look forward to. This is awesome. Go, go in one more time. Mmm. 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 That's another hit. I'd say another hit for sure. And you know me, I don't play around. This is a hit. Mm. So here comes Ginger with uh, the bubble waffle. Your check times? Well, it doesn't help Whoa, me. Look at this bubble waffle. So this is sweet potato ice cream. It's got coconut. It's got like little marshmallow, dehydrated marshmallow chunks. Oh my goodness. And this fabulous uh, bubble mommy, waffle. Dirt worms. This looks amazing. All right, everybody, try a crab beignet. I'm going in on the bubble waffle. What? I'm gonna try the bubble waffle. I'm gonna try the waffle. So you're getting the first bite. No. Oh my god! What the fuck? Yeah, you need to eat it from the side that's open. You, you, I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff is just jumping out. It's full of that stuff. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. This is better than the other place actually. It is? Mm -hmm. Oh man, so we're going to try this real quick. Oh. Alright. So pardon my horrible utensil handling, but I'm, I'm working with a lot here. Anyways, here is a scoop of the Sweet potato ice cream with the dehydrated marshmallows and all the yummy toppings that come on the bubble waffle. Oh my god. There's like pop rocks in it, dude. It's so good. What do you think pop and candy is? Oh my god. Hold on. I've been waiting. Do you want this? Oh wait, right. we're going we're going for another one. This is just amazing. I can still feel feel the pops in my mouth. Mmm. Oh heaven. Mm. Oh, Universal, you got me. You got me. This is good. How about you guys? What do you guys think of this? Oh my God. How's your drink? Very sweet. Very sweet. Here, have one sip and tell me. It's coffee. Go ahead. Whoa. That was good. The junk barge. Mm. So the drink had like, I don't know, it tasted like Kahlua. It's like a coffee, peanut butter-ish taste to it. It's strong but sweet, but really, really good. I'll do another one. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh man, that's so good. Oh, this is just heaven. This is, this right here is where it's at. 
And just take a look at all these hats on all these light posts, light posts over here. This is so cool. What a cool little area. All right, we're in one of our favorite areas of the park, Hogsmeade. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And we're in line for a butterbeer. Here we go, frozen butterbeer, man. And one thing I'm very pleased to notice here is that this cat in the hat building has a fresh coat of paint. It was looking pretty uh, pretty uh, worn out, kind of bleached out, but you can see this nice shiny new paint job. It just looks fantastic here in, uh, in Newville. We're only staying here for one more hour. Welcome back, my vision friends. Says who? Me and Mommy and Lola. Staying where for one more hour? It's tired of this. You're tired of Universal? Yeah. Yeah. All right, just in time for some Mar Mardi Gras parade action. Nice. Oh, let's go get some food. Here we have the... Uh, Honey. This is the hot honey and this is Nashville. the Nashville. So this is the macaroni and cheese with chicken. So this is hot honey and this is the Nashville style. They're going to take the hot honey, we're going to take the Nashville. I'm going to try one little taste of both though, just to kind of give you an idea of what this tastes like. Okay, well, I don't so, think they have it anymore. for one moment. All right, now we're going to start with um, with the, uh, the, the uh, hot honey. So this is the hot honey. It's got that sweet, cheesy sort of blend and it's actually not bad. So this is the Nashville hot. There's the chicken, there's the mac and cheese. Definitely has a kick, whoa. Whoa, that's scorching. That's good, but scorching. We should mix that up. Whoa. Mouth on fire. So yeah, we're gonna try to mix this up. It's mixed up. I definitely like the hot honey better, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with this. All right, so my take on the, um, the Nashville hot mac and cheese, big thumbs down. I thought it was horrible. It's too hot. Like it's. It. Ginger liked it, she, she drinks hot sauce out of the bottle, and that's not a joke, she does, don't you? I like hot sauce. She drinks it out of the bottle. I, I, don't, I love hot sauce, I put hot sauce on a lot of my food, but that's so hot and it's just so saucy, it overpowers the mac and cheese. I feel like I'm just eating pasta with hot sauce covered and covering it. It's just not good for me. Um, I can't even taste cheese at all, like I had no, no freaking clue it was cheese. If I wouldn't have like bought it and known what it was beforehand, if someone would have just gave it to me, I thought it was, I would think it was just like, like pasta with hot sauce, no cheese. It's just not, not good. And now my mouth is scorched. And she enjoys that sort of thing, I don't. Uh, now the girls, they're hot honey. That, I didn't get enough of it. 
God, my, my throat is just on fire right now. Yeah, that, that was a bad experience. So yeah, thumbs down for me, thumbs down for Ginger, thumbs up from, from Ginger, uh, so it's a tie. All right, and right now I'm gonna share an insider tip with you. So if you're going to Universal, just remember, if you're walking around the park and you've got a wedgie in your ass, you have to scratch your genitals. This is the best place to do it. You just sit on that bench and you just can scrape your ass against the edge of the bench. And you can sit right behind this little fountain park, just make sure no one's walking behind you. And uh, you can have at it. So we award this best wedgie picking thing park place. Yeah, this is the best place to pick wedgies out of your ass. It's amazing. It's, See, it's amazing. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> it's all awesome. Everybody here, they love, they come here to pick their wedgies. Mm -hmm. And you can also pick your boogers here too. Yeah. You can just stand right there and like stick your head between your knees and pick your boogers while your head's in between your knees and more than likely no one's going to notice. Mardi Gras vibe here, no Mardi Gras feel here, just a few decorations. It's just, it's just a total joke. Um, they don't really do it up here. They've got a couple nice decorations scattered throughout the park. Uh, with the, all the people that are here, you would expect it to be a lot more festive, and I'm just not getting that. Um, the food is hit or miss. I've had some really good stuff, some really horrible things. Um, I honestly would, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm not a fan of Universal's events. Like, I think all their events are overrated. Uh, and it's all the same shit. Just a crowded park with, you know, a couple little things like this. Like this Mardi Gras sign and a couple statues here and there, but I'm just not really into it. Uh, and Universal just drops the ball. They, they throw the worst events, in my opinion. Actually, no, Dollywood. Dollywood's Christmas is way better than this, but... The Great Pumpkin Illuminate, just the drizzling shits. Hey, just look. There's a couple of, uh... We got this chicken and biscuit with red eye gravy. It was absolutely disgusting. The biscuit Stella, just Stella. fell apart. It was dry and horrible. Can you quit saying the bad word, Lola? All right, so um, now we're gonna try the slaw. Well, I'm gonna try the slaw. Ginger's already tried the slaw. Here we go, the slaw. The slaw. Tastes kind of like 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 an oil vinegar type thing with um, with the shredded vegetables. Um, I thought it was it was okay. It's not the best slaw I've ever had. 
but you know, it wasn't abysmal like the biscuit was. You know who does like these biscuits? This guy. You know they love this. Here. Oh yeah. See, it's free bird food. They love this shit, man. Oh, dude, he's like, no way. You're gonna give me that? No, he doesn't even like it. Oh, he does. Oh, dude, he loves it. Look, honey. Oh yeah, so this biscuit makes great bird food. You can see these pigeons, they love it. Oh, he's playing soccer with it now. Enjoy, enjoy little friend, enjoy. That's right, he's got the good stuff. Oh man. One man's trash is another bird's treasure. We got a little visitor here. We got this awesome little pigeon walking around in this little restaurant, the uh, burger company, the, the Rick, Rickler's Burger Company. That's funny. So that parade was a hit. Food was a hit or miss. Mm, most of the times it was a miss. Um, but either way, you're at Universal, it's fun. Um, it's crowded as expected. And um, I guess, I mean, it kind of breaks the monotony of just a normal average day at Universal. Get a little bit of uh, unique merchandise. But I just have never, I don't know, that parade was just amazing though. I love that parade. I mean, those floats were spectacular, and there were lots of them. 
So that was great. Um, but next is going to be SeaWorld. So we're going to try SeaWorld, check out their uh, Mardi Gras celebration. And but for now, we're trying to get out of here and check this out. This is going to be fun. But this concludes our Mardi Gras celebration at Universal. All in all, I think it was fun. Um, and it's something to do. And check this out. City Walk is just lit. And here is a good look at the entrance of Universal Studios. There's Voodoo Donut, Frozen Yogurt, Minchie's Frozen Yogurt, Tattoo, HGH Tattoo, the Universal Studio Store. We're passing the store. So we're going to walk through City Walk just a bit. When you told me you were going through security, we were going through that and there's security. And then you were like, I won't. And the tooths and chocolate and green. This place is up right now. Kitchen, the Catfish, Red Oven Pizza, Bakery, Food Clubs and Shops, there's Cold Stone, and look at this, this is insane, this is a freaking party dude, wow man, this is just nuts, Cinnabon, Billabon, here. This is this is mayhem. I love walking through City Walk at night. It's just a it's just so lit up and so fun, so lively, and energetic. Starbucks coffee. Such a fun place. Especially if you can drink alcohol, which I'm a booze hiatus right now. Oh, oh, here's the tree. Here's the, is this the tree? I see a bunch of people here. Where's the tree where you're supposed to throw all your beads? Oh, don't know.
Here, honey. You want to go on the thing? All right, we're going to go on the thing. You know, I've never seen people actually playing mini golf here before. This is the first. at the tree. Oh. Let's try that one more time. Mardi Gras cake is awesome. Very, very good. Excellent. All right. Check out this macaron. Mm. Really good. I'll get one later. All right. So we've got the. What did you get, honey? The bulls and the bears. Bulls and the bears. And I got the Italian Caprice, which, check it out, tomatoes and 
this, uh, it looks like big chunks of mushroom and mozzarella. And then we have potato salad. And the girls have their uh, ham and cheese croissants. Awesome. How's that potato salad? All right. And we got the potato salad. And just take a look at this tree during the day. How pretty that is. That is awesome. Wow, just look at that. Now this is pollution done right. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for checking out this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye everybody.